we are all the time together and we have breakfast together. So I was having a brainstorming about what team suggests, the word team suggests to me. So it's like unity, collaboration, to lean on someone, feelings, and fun. We're going to try and blow up the bottle into a donut shape. Charlie said it could be an absolute babouche ad. You've got to have your glasses on. People lose their eyebrows, eyelashes, mustache, whatever. Uh, I've come to appreciate having a beard because it lets me know through smell when I'm on fire. Right. <laughs> glass makers look at glass making and say, is it glassy? It's a funny expression, but if it says it's glassy, it usually means it's well received within the process because you can't force glass really to do something it doesn't want to do. Low hard, low. It's a combination with wind and uh, fire and when you, you, you blow it's something very very good for body, energy, happy. <laughs> good, stop. Yes. Now blow a little bit. What we made was very simple and fast and easy, and Marina has figured out that she's able to work with the material and make beautiful shapes cooperating fully with what glass wants to do. This will be a hole. I wanted to make a donut, so a closed shape, closed rounded shape. Flip. Flip. Blow gently, just a little bit. Get ready. Bingo. Who's next? Go. There we go. Now pull it towards you, Gigi. There you go. Wait. Beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. You can hear the air going through the hole. I need one person to hit the vacuum cleaner at the given moment, and then we're going to flip it onto here. Straight up. There you go. Oh, yes, baby! Yeah. Glass is one of the things that has this immediacy, I call it, one of the abilities to go very quickly from no experience to very good experience. And it brings with it the toughness and the fragility that you've all experienced in the last 10 days. Gigi discovered the glassy nature of the material is an interesting device in then bringing it full circle from glass as a liquid, a sand, all the way back around, back to nature with the handles, I think. It just shows you how quickly in this material you can go from concept to object. So she made two architectural ideas, shearing is one and cutting and sectioning is the other one. I mean, I really see myself in that one and I'm quite uh, fascinated from material. Um, with uh, glass, it's actually you create something out of nothing. You take just powders and uh, molten glass from the, the furnace and you turn it into shapes. Marina's project began on the first day where she found in the waste just the little drips that come from the process, right? And it informed the whole project for 10 days about uh, the inversion of the skin and the body. So in fact, clothes being worn on the outside of the skin have been inverted here. The idea came from Babouche, the, how we are surrounded by forest and the little things that are beautiful, like mushrooms, because you don't plant them, they're just there. As I develop it, it becomes a ritual object. I forgot to light this candle. <laughs> For me, this is the best uh, time I've ever designed something because it's not only rendering or thinking about an, an object, just the way it looks. Uh, it's about working with people, but for me, it's the best experience in design I've ever had.
this is the first for me, seeing the hot glass and listening to the rain on the hot glass. I've never heard that before, even though I'm from Seattle. It's cool.